using our hives on our edible green roof just behind me. Today is honey extracting day and for the homeowner it gets a little bit challenging because we don't have all the high-tech equipment and all the warm room that we need to extract honey so we have to pick a very sunny day like we have today for a change in Vancouver uh, to do our honey extraction from our frames. So the things you need are here. We have actually a, a, a Tupperware box full of honey frames that I harvested. We have our extractor. We have our honey uh, comb, which will uncap the wax on the frames. And then we have our bucket. It's a food grade bucket with a strainer um, for straining our honey after we take it out of the extractor. So step number one, like I said, it's much easier on a hot, hot, sunny day like today and so here are some of our frames i've put them in this tupperware just so that they get a little head start on warming up so the honey flows better once it goes in the extractor here's a beautiful uh, frame of capped honey you always want to make sure you have a total capped honey frame because that means the honey is ready uh, it's cured and it's ready to go. If it's not capped and you extract it, you'll get uh, watery honey that could ferment later on um, when it's sitting in your jars and that's not what you want. So step number two, I take this comb and what this comb does is I just gently rake the cap or the wax capping that the bees have produced to seal the comb and the frame. And by using this cap, uh, this uh, comb, I'm just lightly taking off the cap so I won't take too much of the honey with me. Now, a little tip that I learned is bees, and you might see a few buzzing around, they're very opportunistic. The minute they take one whiff of the honey, they're all over you. So I try to take a very, uh, keep my area very clean so that the bees aren't alerted to the fact that I'm now harvesting honey today because they will rob these frames as I'm working on them. So I just take the caps off like so. Then with the extractor, this is the typical stainless steel track extractor. It holds two frames. I'll give you a little look inside. There it is, a frame slides in here and here. I'm just gonna show you using one example. And as you can see, the, the bees are sort of all in it already, but uh, we'll get rid of any debris later on in the filtering process. I slide the frame into my extractor, put the lid on. Now remember, you always are dealing with food, so you want everything to be as clean as possible including yourself, your equipment, everything. It should be sterile. So it's got a little handle here, as you can see. Very simple. All you do is you just, and for me, because I need a little bit of extra here, you just give her a bit of a crank. Little trick I found out the hard way is you don't want to crank too hard because these frames are uh, the wax board is sitting in a frame, and if you spin them too hard, sometimes those wax boards can fall out. So you just keep cranking and cranking and cranking, and eventually the spinning action of the centrifuge will throw all your honey out. Now, I haven't done it long enough, but for the uh, interest of time, I just wanted to show you, this is the beginning of the honey getting thrown out of the frame, okay? So, what I do is once the honey is totally extracted from the one side, I reverse it and put it on the other side. Basically, the honey gets thrown out to the sides. I'm gonna try and crank it a little bit harder now that the I can't just get a little bit more out just for demonstration purposes and it's starting to come out quite nicely 
So I will finish that later on, but I just want to show you the next step in the interest of time. And that is once you get your honey out of your extractor or your honey out of your frames, you simply take a sieve. You have a two-step sieve process for honey because as you can see, when I pour this out or see inside, you've still got a lot of honeycomb and wax debris in there. So you have to start filtering it out. And so I use a coarser sieve to do the first sieve. And this is where the heat comes in perfectly. As you can see, it's starting to sieve all the wax out. Later on, I'll use it, I'll sieve out an extra time using a cheesecloth. Now, I have harvested approximately from my two hives. As you know, I have two hives. I've harvested two boxes of honey from my overwintering hive, and I've harvested one box from my new hive. Each of these little half frames here, which is what these are, honey supers, weigh about, you get about three pounds of honey. So this year, did pretty good despite our bad weather, we ended up with almost 100 pounds of honey. Please watch, so thank you for watching my video. We'll see you next time. And if you want any more information on beehives, as you know, we have edible green roofs, everything about growing, designing with edibles, please visit my website at www.sangadesigns.com. Thanks for watching.